Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Ethan. We're here to tell you about the Mother's Milk Bank of North Texas. We chose this as our charity for this year's Here to tell us, us more about the Mother's Milk Bank of North Texas is Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, tell us a little bit about what does the Mother's Milk Bank do? They take donated breast milk and pasteurize it. And then we take it off to premature babies and toddlers and sometimes even older children too. Why do the babies need the breast milk? Well, it has lots of nutrients that no other man-made substance has. And um, apparently there was a study done by, I think, physicians around the Dallas-Fort Worth area where they found that they um, improved much more rapidly when they were on completely just breast milk. And they um, decided as like, I I'm not sure what it was, it was some kind of coalition of physicians around the Dallas-Fort Worth area that said they were only going to give premature babies in these NICUs breast milk. And that's kind of how this milk bank came together. Here's how you can help. Donate milk. There's always a need for new donors. The process to become a donor is much like um, the process when you donate blood. It's the same kind of testing things. They prefer to have mothers who have a baby that's like one year younger because your milk actually changes how old your baby is. The, younger, the more younger your baby is, there's a lot more nutrients and as your baby eats regular food, the breast milk actually changes to lower calories. So they don't, I mean they'll take that, but they don't want it as much as the one and younger. And it's usually mothers who are working mothers who pump um, anyway and they have like a freezer stocked full of milk. So if you have extra milk of your baby that you think um, you're never going to use, they would die for that. And it's usually you can take milk that is six months or later that you, or earlier that you've pumped. So if you have that, they, that would be perfect. Donate money. Um, you, they always will take money. Um, there's always new equipment. Equipment is breaking or to get the latest things. There's always a need and there's always a need to add more pasteurizers since orders just keep increasing from more and more hospitals. So money is always greatly appreciated. Do they charge for the milk that they provide? They charge for the milk, but it's basically a processing fee. It pays for the things that have to be done to the milk. The, and the fact that we have to send cultures out and to pay for those things for the bacteria checks and all that kind of stuff. But it's there's no profit made from it, and it usually doesn't even cover the entire amount of money it costs to make the milk. <laughs> Donate time! <laughs> well, if you live in the area, or if you live near Milk Bank where you are located, you can always donate your time um, at the Mother's Milk Bank of North Texas. Um, a lot of times you can't always work in the laboratory, which is the fun place. But they always have clerical things you can do. There are pamphlets to fold, newsletters to, to stuff in envelopes. And a lot of times there are people that take those home and work on them and then bring them back to the office again. So you can do it at your home if you don't have actual a lot of time to donate up there. Part of the goal of this video is to educate people about breastfeeding. What would you say to maybe a new mother out there who's considering breastfeeding or just people in the audience who aren't as familiar with breastfeeding. I'd say it's the best feeling in the world. When you sit down to nurse your baby, you release oxytocin, which is the same hormone that you release when you are bonding during sex and orgasm. And it feels almost like that. It makes you very sleepy. It's kind of like Valium. And it feels wonderful to sit there and feel like that when you're a new mother and you feel frazzled and you don't feel like you ever get to sleep. In addition, you also, it's very lazy to breastfeed. I don't know why people think that bottle feeding is so much easier. There are no bottles to clean, there's nothing to sterilize, there's nothing to mix together, you don't have to make sure you have enough formula in the diaper bag, you have boobies ready to go all the time. 
and you don't and you don't even have to wake up really. There are times I barely wake up to latch my baby on and go right back to sleep. Okay, and uh, you told us a little bit about the benefits for the mother. How about the benefits for the baby? Um, there's much less likely of them having any kind of infections. They are less likely to be colicky. They have um, found them to have higher IQs as they get older. I have two of my children have never ever had ear infections in their entire lives. Mm -hmm.